Good day everyone and welcome to another vlog for the Exodus 7 to 12 KJV project. So today I get to share with you the frames finished added to the project and the opening sequence that um, I worked on. Now remember what I'm going to be showing you is not necessarily the final opening but this was just uh, something I felt led to make last night. So let's start with the frames put together. So there was hail, and fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. I have sinned this time, the Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat the Lord, for it is enough that there be no more mighty thunderings and hail, and I will let you go, and ye shall stay no longer. As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto the Lord, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that thou mayest know how that the earth is the Lord's. But as for thee and thy servants, I know that ye will not yet fear the Lord God. Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart, and the heart of his servants, that I might shew these my signs before him, and that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son, and of thy son's son, what things I have wrought in Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know how that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy coast, and they shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped, which remaineth unto you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. And they shall fill thy houses, and the houses of all thy servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither thy fathers, nor thy father's fathers have seen, since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. How long shall this man be a snare unto us? Let the men go, that they may serve the Lord their God. Knowest thou not yet that Egypt is destroyed? Go, serve the Lord your God, but who are they that shall go? We will go with our young and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds will we go, for we must hold a feast unto the Lord. Let the Lord be so with you, as I will let you go, and your little ones, look to it, for evil is before you. Not so, go now ye that are men, and serve the Lord for that ye did desire. Stretch out thine hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt, and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hail hath left. Awesome. Okay. So as you guys noticed that uh, there was a slight overlap from last week, which extended from around here. But I did make a few changes. For example, I added this um, black frame in there. And the reason I have a black frame is so that it's very clear that I'm specifically placing a black frame there, that it's not just, oh, there's something missing there. <laughs> Because that was, that's what it can look like when you have these really rough cut drawings. Uh, one thing over here with the chair, 
is I don't want it to be like a flat transition between the thrones back and the black. I want um, it lit in a way where the throne would be almost pitch black at the back and the camera moves over this way so that the chair moves in the direction of the arrow as he calls for Moses and Aaron to be brought back. So it's not going to be like um, black and then there's a chair. It's just not the, the plan. Just a heads up on that. Now something um, I felt God showed me in um, around this area where Pharaoh says, oh, the Lord be with you as you go, you know, um, but look, um, because evil is before you. Um, I might be wrong on this. This is just what I got this week, is that um, Pharaoh was being sarcastic in a way, where he would say, oh, yes, absolutely, the Lord be with you. Not, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, that's the only thing that really makes sense. I want to play it to you guys again so you can listen to it with um, a sense of sarcasm and it'll make a lot more sense. Let the Lord be so with you, as I will let you go, and your little ones, look to it, for evil is before you. Not so, go now ye that are men, and serve the Lord, for that ye did desire. And then he chases them out and... That sort of thing. So, sarcasm is the only thing that really makes sense there because um, Pharaoh has no intention of um, letting the people go in the first place. So I think he was really being um, full of himself. So anyway, that is the stuff for this week in terms of the video. So now I get to show you the opening that came out of this week. Okie dokie. So I'm going to show you guys the the basic idea is to do um, a wall. It was supposed to be a wall, but uh, it kind of looks more like papyrus, which I'm fine with. Um, all it does is it comes down like a, a waterfall, and then of course the text appears over it in a, a misty kind of way. So. Yeah, that's it. So the basic idea is um, just to make the text dissolve. Uh, if you're interested, I used halo particles and I faded from the solid object to the halo particles over uh, maybe 30 frames or so just so that there's a, a smooth transition between the solid object and the particles before they get um, forced into the vortex, which makes them just vanish, just like that. So that's, it's very simple. It's not rocket science to, to make. I'm sure there's a tutorial on how to make text disappear without it breaking up, which I tried. Um, but if I find it, I will link that in the description as well. So that is it for this week, a very short update, but very happy with the progress. Have a great one and God bless you.